Susan, Susan Mwiberi, I am a software engineer here at Safaricom. I'm in the digital services tribe and what we do uh, is we are the guys who do the vast side of the business. Mostly anything to do with Skiza, Bonga and also partner engagement. My role basically as a software engineer, I am in the service development team. Uh, so what I do is I usually call the solutions that the business team uh, wants to roll out to the market. Uh, amongst uh, like uh, my, my other team members, we also like collaborate on the same. For me, I do both uh, the hybrid way of working. So I work from home, I also work from the office. So um, in the day when I'm working from home, I usually wake up at around seven. Basically my work day would start at eight. That is when I'll be now ready to start the day. I look at everything that I need to do for the day check from the backlog what items didn't I finish the previous day. Then from 9.30, we have the now stand-ups for the team. So I'll be engaged with the stand-ups and other meetings until 10.30. Then from 10.30, I'll resume uh, my work for the day. So that will go on until uh, 5. Then that's when I'll break. Uh, if the day was not that intense, I'll break at five, and then from there I can do other things at home. But if I'm in the office, I'll usually now leave to go home. I would say it has been half half of each, half uh, tough, and then the other half would be interesting. Uh, half of the tough is because any, any new thing that um, I encounter, I usually struggle in the beginning, and then from there, gets easier with time. So it was tough initially to get to understand you will now be working in this team, you will only be dealing with this much and then uh, the success of this team is um, part of what you do. Uh, if you, you are not succeeding then the team is failing as well. As a dev getting now to understand the business side of things, how anything that I do gets now to affect the overall uh, business that was interesting. Challenges, um, there are a couple. Um, so I'd say mostly um, as a developer, so when you're one dev in a squad, say, it's usually hard, hard when you encounter an issue and you don't have anyone you can ask for help within the team. So at that point now you have to transition to the bigger team, the uh, team that now you belong to. Yeah, that is basically one of the toughest parts. Um, and also, I would say, uh, carrying that load of knowing anything that you do can affect the uh, end customer. Yeah, so basically that the tech side of things relies on you to some extent. It's a bit tough, but also exciting at the same time. So the biggest lesson that I've learned from uh, the Agile way of working is you can win as a team or you can fail as a team. There's no one, like if I'm winning, I'm winning alone, so it doesn't matter whatever the rest of the team is doing. So you have to ensure everybody in your team is actually succeeding for you to succeed as a team. And also understanding if you fail, you fail as a group as well. So the advice that I would give the teams that are going through the Agile way is keep at it, keep going. Um, it gets better as you go. You get used to it, it uh, and then the results are even better as you go. So I think it's really nice that you've been uh, sponsoring many events, uh, the sports events that is. I saw the athletic side and the sports side. If I were to pick uh, a sport for Safaricom to sponsor, that would be basketball. Why? Because I think Kenya, it hasn't been utilized per se. I would want to see a case where more schools are picking it as a sport and then seeing guys, especially in less privileged backgrounds, uh, seeing it as one of the sports that they can actually join in. Because once we have like sponsorships on the same, then it will be very easy. So the parting shot, uh, I would say we continue doing whatever we are doing. Um, it will get better with time and then trend to kill.